And today we want to talk a little bit about kind of the philosophy of MMOs. We get into a lot of these discussions yes. on our Discord. We talk a lot about this on the podcast. So go check out some of our recent podcast episodes. And we talk in the wee hours of the night, just you and me. But one of the recent topics that came up that was super fascinating to me is we kind of started asking each other when we started our MMO journey, right? Our relationship with MMOs. And I think yeah. most of the guys started, you know, maybe in their teens or maybe in the, while they were mm -hmm. in college when there's lots of free time to play MMOs. And I started yeah. sort of later in life. So after I was already married, I had a job, responsibilities. And so it, it seemed like I want to make this correlation into at that time. <laughs> it, it's insane. It's insane. But I yeah. want to make this correlation, Scott, see if I can connect these dots. And I want you to let okay. me know if you think I'm onto something or if it's, <laughs> it's nothing. So okay. for the guys that seem like started younger in our group, it seems like, and I'll just use you an example. Uh, you're way less, uh, or you're more hesitant to jump into any MMO because you've had such a such an experience as a younger person with MMOs where it kind of consumed your life. And so yes. at, at, to, an, to an extent from the outside, what it seems like to me is you're like, okay, I don't want to go down that road again. Like, does the idea of an MMO sound really fun? Yes, but can I really enjoy an MMO now? Because yeah. I've played an, MM, an MMO the way I did back when I had unlimited amounts of time. Am I yeah. am I on to something as far as where your perspective is on MMOs? You are. It, it is nuanced like that. I I think it's difficult to truly deconstruct each variable of that. But sure, sure. to simplify it, mm -hmm. yes. I know how I played MMOs. I think I started Star Wars Galaxies when I was 17. Yeah, it was before I graduated high school. So I was, yeah, I was about 17. And then right after that, after putting hours into that, I went straight into WoW, into vanilla WoW. So I put entirely way too much time that I wish I could get back. Not that I didn't have a good time, but I, I put too much time into it looking back now. Um, and I think, and maybe I'm wrong for even thinking that, but to get the most out of an MMO, that true immersive experience, and to be at the top of the of the food chain, you had to put in that time. So every time I'm presented with that, hey, here's an MMO. It looks good. You want to play it, right? It's it's like I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, in theory, absolutely, I want to play it. But realistically, I can't do that to myself. I, I just it's it's just not an attainable. Uh, goal to get to so that's been my reservation especially in the last you know decade or so sure and this is truly really interesting because I want to get to my experience real quick but it, it's I think it's it's almost sort of about forming habits right and you know I'm me and you talk we talk to our kids a lot about hey form habits now that will carry over later in life whether that's you know we're whether that's the way they study or do homework or the things they eat, mm -hmm. you know, it's just going to be better. And so in my experience, yeah. when I started MMOs, I did not have unlimited time to play already. You know, I had responsibilities. I had some things that, that allowed me to form the habits around MMOs to, I don't want to say <laughs> totally healthy, but maybe a healthier state <laughs> Then when some of you guys, you know, were playing yeah. MMOs for the first time, because right, if I was in college, you know, I wasn't playing MMOs, but I was playing, you know, Halo all night or, mm -hmm. you know, or Madden or something like that. And so I did go overboard to an extent and I had to learn over time to form those habits. But with, with MMOs, I it's so interesting, like you say, because they're almost, they can be all consuming, especially if you really want to yeah. excel and be on top. And I never really was in that position. You know, I, I got pretty good at PvP and some MMOs that we played, but I just didn't have the time to be on the top of the mountain. And so I, I never treated it like too, that. Star, 
Go ahead. Swotor wasn't wasn't like WoW. It tried mm. to be, mm. but it wasn't to the level. Which is my first you, MMO. What you're referencing? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm referencing. Like, yeah. even if you wanted to, there was a limit that mm. you would cap out on. I feel like. Um, right. Whereas WoW was, I mean, it was it was limitless. You could seriously play all day and still have more stuff to do. And in vanilla, it, it, like clearly WoW is a lot more, even though it's complex, it still has a lot of a lot of shit to a lot do. Of things for to lack chase. Of a better term. Yeah. Yes. Totally. Back then, it was very difficult to get those things. Mm. It's like you you really it, for PvP too. Like you had to sit in an alteric valley for hours because you would lose rank so you had to play and uh it was that it was almost like it just conditioned players and i think as good as wow has been it has also been very very damaging to the gaming hive mind and the way that gaming has progressed i think it really altered the landscape of all gaming going forward and i we're still seeing that today and, and hey wow is still kicking so Right. And so I, I know you have a psychology background. And yeah. so it seems like <laughs> almost the baggage of WoW is some people are carrying with them from seeing how it affected their lives playing earlier. And, and, and granted, we're just talking about this in the context of MMOs and games. There's obviously mm -hmm. all sorts of things that people can go overboard with and take it too far. And so this isn't unique to gaming necessarily. Although, although I will say... I, and I've I've noticed it in myself. I've noticed it in the way that games have progressed. Like WoW started this whole daily thing that you had to do. Like Correct. it was a Correct. living world. You had to do these things. It was like a to do list. Mm. And if you notice, single that that has become so uh, ingrained in us that even single player games try to do that now. There's like daily quests in some yeah. of them, and. Yep it's it's like they know how to keep us in the game and how to keep us engaged and spending money where again it becomes detrimental to to the psychology of it so it's 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 had a profound effect on gaming I, okay. no doubt a hundred percent so i here's the big question i want to ask you so we talked in a recent video about maybe jumping into an mmo casually to play but but recently you've been hesitant to jump into mmos with me you know for that for sort of yeah. that reason now have you tried to to deal with the baggage that you've carried with mmos do you think it's something that needs to be dealt with or is it just a good reminder that hey i don't need to immerse myself this much again or do you think you'll be able to enjoy mmos again in a state where that is not in the back of your mind does that make sense as a question am i uh yeah i think i get what you're trying to say okay. um I, I mean clearly there's a a variable of self-control and discipline right i think sure uh that that's definitely a factor but at the same time and the other part of me is like are mmos just a young man's game now like mm. do i just look at that is it is it just yeah. a younger man's game uh so that that's been the difficult part for me and if there is a balance yet i don't know if i have quite found it for myself for personally i'm sure many players have uh and i know we've talked about remnant a lot that's been a good balance for me but i haven't like you know i haven't touched an mmo in quite a while and sure. uh, the last one was probably destiny and I guess we can throw that in as yeah, an I think MMO. So. Yeah, that's fair. I guess so. Yeah, but I, I I do notice myself getting a little too attached to it, and like when I'm not at my computer, I'll be like, oh, I should get in and do that event, or I have to do this today. And I, as much as I enjoyed that when I was younger of having those things to do, it's it's just not a good it's not a good look right now, uh, and and it just isn't conducive to my to my current life. Um, so as much as I want to, again, I, I just haven't found the sweet spot for it yet. Okay. Well, I know we talked about maybe jumping in the new world expansion next month. So maybe mm -hmm. that'll be an interesting case study. I'm just curious to see what kind of fun yeah. we can get into and what your thoughts are after playing for a little bit about jumping back in and seeing what it looks like. And you bring up another fascinating point and I know we got to go, but I want to make this in another video because that was just a crazy good point you just made. MMOs are a younger man's game almost because of the time it takes 
However, young player, younger video gamers are not playing MMOs. So is this mm. a cause for a lot of the, you know, downturn of MMOs to an extent? Maybe some of the populations going away? I don't know. This is, that's really fascinating. So well, now you're getting into the whole <laughs> dopamine reward system. Give it to me fast. You know, make sure that that's yeah. a whole other can of worms, right? Yeah. Yeah. When I say younger man's game, I mean, I'm alluding to a guy who's single, maybe is in just a casual relationship, doesn't have children, just getting his career off the, like, he's just got more time. He's just, he can take his, his sweet time and play. And, and yeah, but, that's, that's what I mean. But are they playing though? Aren't they playing Warzone and, you know, mm -hmm. be up battle royales, Tarkov, all these types of games instead, League of Legends. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. This is a cool topic, man. I love talking about it these is. philosophy, psychology, you know, aspects to MMOs and games. So if you guys enjoy that, you know, chime in in the comments. Let us know, hey, are you in our yeah. position or did you start MMOs when you were young? Has that affected how you look at MMOs now in the present day? Anyway, mm -hmm. guys, thanks for joining us. Check out the Discord link below if you want to jump in and continue the conversation with us on Discord. And give us a like and a sub if you uh, like this type of content. We, we really enjoy making it. So... We'll see you guys next time.